So I'm converting my old CJ7 from a ma an automatic transmission to a manual transmission. And uh, the transmission I got needed a little TLC. The bell housing here has uh, the threads are a little worn out on where you bolt the transmission to the back of the bell housing. So we're going to put a helicoil in it. Probably do it in all four corners. This one's real bad. So we've got to drill it out. And you buy these helicoil kits. They don't come with a drill bit. But the tap will tell you what size drill bit to use for that tap. Now this is a 7 16 hole. 7 16 14 hole tapped from the factory. But that doesn't mean this tap is a 7 16 tap. This is a 7 16 helicoil tap. So it's oversized so that it will hit or, or fit the uh, inserts they're going to I'll show you later. <coughs> Excuse me. So here I'm tapping. If you've ever used a tap, you just you screw them in, and if they get a little tight, then you back up. So I'm using a ratchet. I just reverse the ratchet, turn it back about a half turn. That'll clean the tap, and then tighten again until it gets tight. About a half turn and back up a quarter kind of thing. This is just standard tapping procedure. I cut a little out there to save you some boredom. Eventually it gets through. I'll run the tap all the way through so I got nice straight threads all the way in. We'll back it out and the next thing will be to uh, clean it up because we lube that tap. I always put a little something on the tap just to keep it from galling as it, go, as it goes in. So I'll spray a little brake clean in there and then blow it out with some air, compressed air. And then we'll be ready for the insert. These inserts come in the kit and you can buy additional inserts when you run out of the ones that come with the kit. And they thread onto an insertion tool they give you. So it's all the way in until it, it butts up against the tang. There's a tang that runs across. You can see there the shiny straight piece that runs across the center. There's a tang in that insertion tool that will catch that tang and allow you to screw it in to the freshly tapped hole. Run that all the way in. You want it to finish about a quarter to half turn inside your tapped hole. You don't want it sticking out at all. So make sure it's in there. A good quarter to half turn past flush with the surface. And just back out the insertion tool. And then we've got to knock that tang off there because your bolt might want to go in deeper than where that tang is. So we'll just take something here. I'm using a smaller insertion tool for a different uh, helicoil set. And I'm just going to tap with this hammer, dink, and it breaks right off. It's kind of designed to break right off. Here I'm putting a bolt in just to test it. It's much tighter than it was. Probably do all four, but thought I'd show you one. I've got plenty of other repair videos, not just Jeeps, but motorcycles, how to ride a motorcycle, all kinds of stuff on the Car Suck channel. So make sure you check out the channel. Uh, check out the playlist, subscribe, like and comment below. You can even buy me a beer with your Google wallet by clicking on support this channel. Or if you want, you can get a hat or a t-shirt by clicking on the gear button.